Exclusive contract from Felu Novel Network Novel. Comics. I initiate the Holy Grail War, and the Heavens participate. The Holy Grail War is a supernatural war in which seven groups of masters and servants compete for the Holy Grail and ultimately fulfill their wishes. I understand all the principles, but why am I summoning no heroes at all? Saber Estes, Lancer Whitebeard, Castor Florian, Rider. Naruto Vortex. The master is not right either. How can I fight this holy grail war, including Misty Rain Marissa, Osaka Meichin, and Gojo Satoru? What? Am I the initiator? It's okay then. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Me the Holy Grail War talks about people. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Me The Holy Grail War talks about people. Lin, why are you so anxious to go home recently? Haha, ha, haven't you been a bit busy lately? Rin Yuansika calmly said to the nearby Shirakaki Shiyu before quickly packing up and leaving the classroom. Looking at the anxious figure of Rin Yuansika, Shiyu of Zayazikiyu sighed leisurely and said, Ah, it feels like everyone has been busy lately. I've decided that I'll also start working hard on writing books, hmm. Starting from tomorrow. Listening to the sighs of Xia Jichou Shiyu beside him, Lin Xian looked at her helplessly. Do you think I don't know your personality? I would rather rely on you to be diligent than on Rin Osaka to obtain the Holy Grail. That's right. Lin Xian knows why Yuansika Rin has been so busy lately, because he is a traveler who has traveled through this world of comics. In this world, there is the hero association of One Punch Superman, as well as Xia Jichou Shiyu, who writes love metronomes, there is Rin Hasaka, who is preparing for the Holy Grail War, as well as Minister of the Ministry of Attendance, Yukichi Yukino, the name of the junior high school next door is Shangpantai Middle School, and the name of the university next door is Aiza University. He is studying at this high school called Daidan. So Lin Xian speculates that this world should have integrated various anime based on modern society, as for whether there is a different world Lin Xian said he has never traveled before, where did he know to go? Ah, uh, I also want to participate in the Holy Grail War. No, I don't have any strength at all. Isn't participating in the Holy Grail War a way of seeking death? Otherwise, I'll just be a copyist, and with all the things in my mind, not to mention becoming the world's richest person, I don't have any worries about food and clothing. Lin Xian's earliest primitive accumulation during this period of time was becoming a copywriter, otherwise he wouldn't have had enough money to live. Fortunately, although the world is different, everyone's aesthetics are still quite successful. The several light novels he copied were highly praised, which also gave him the foundation to settle down. Just as Lin Xian was planning his future development, a voice suddenly rang out in his mind, the Holy Grail War system has been launched, host binding is in progress, binding successful. Hmm. Upon hearing this sound, Lin Xian immediately became energized. Holy Grail War System. I am indeed the chosen child. A man. Holy Grail War System. What does it mean? Can I also summon heroes? And I can also have unlimited contracts like that. Just like playing Fgo in my past life. As soon as Lin Xian heard the name of the system, his thinking began to diverge. As a seasoned ACG enthusiast, he couldn't have been unaware of what the Holy Grail War was. The Holy Grail War is a secret war that takes 60 years as a unit. Seven servants and seven masters are paired as contestants, competing against each other for the winner. Finally, the winner can summon the Holy Grail and align it to make a wish, thus realizing their own wishes. Unfortunately, Lin Xian has seen quite a few Xing Yue works in his past life, and there are only a few people who can successfully make wishes. There are some discrepancies between the owner's ideas and the functionality of the system. The full name of this system should be, Holy Grail War Initiation System. The owner is the initiator of the Holy Grail War and not a participant. 
the participants are not just heroes and magicians, to be precise, they should not be just heroes and magicians. The master can be every person in this world, while the servant comes from all heavens and all realms, ha. Huh? Lin Xian was stunned for a moment, then instinctively reacted. Wait, so. Can things like Chiyu summoning white beard also happen? The master understands very thoroughly Lin Xian. A thorough six. I can't understand such simple words as fools anymore. But. It sounds quite interesting. Wait, it's not right. Participants can make a wish to win in the end, but what benefits do I have? I can't just watch it, can I? The owner can randomly obtain a skill from each servant and master as the ticket money for participation, and after the winner is eliminated in the final corner, the owner can also receive a system treasure chest as a reward. But as a limitation, the owner cannot become a servant or master, nor can they make wishes, I understand, there's no referee who comes off the court in person. Isn't that cheating? Lin Xian thought for a moment and understood the meaning of the system, which was indeed a necessary limitation. Otherwise, Lin Xian would casually arrange a world king for himself in the end, and then arrange a bunch of Nobita Nobita, Joker Bucky, and Crayon Shin Chan for his opponents. How could he not have one? So, Lin Xian has no objections to this requirement of the system. Another question is, if the ultimate winner's wish is to become the strongest in the world, should I also fulfill this wish? Of course, please note that there is no absolute strongest in the world, so the maker must have a clear wish. For example, a wishing person can make a wish. I want a demonic fruit, a soul-slaying sword, and a superpower, but I cannot make a wish for invincible power understood, that is to say, if I want to live forever, I can make a wish to become the true ancestor of vampires, or to have an elixir of immortality, but I cannot directly make a wish for a certain number of years lifespan. That's right. Lin Xian nodded silently, and then he couldn't help but rub his hand. He couldn't wait to see the Holy Grail War begin. So the next second, Lin Xian directly said to the system, since that's the case. Then I declare. The Holy Grail War. Let's start. Chapter 2. The Stubborn Rin Asaka. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2. The Stubborn Rin Asaka, fortunately, the summoning array that my father left me back then is still there. Although it's a bit worn out, it only needs to be repaired and repaired before I can use it. Far Saka Rin is working hard to clean the basement of his house. There is still some time before the official start of the Holy Grail War, and the Holy Grail curse has not been issued. However, as the three families of the Holy Grail War, Higasaka Rin naturally had to start preparing early. After all, Rin Osaka is going to summon the strongest saber. According to the records of their distant family, in order to summon a specific job, it is necessary to have the exact time, location, and characters. Strange things cannot be added to the summoning spell, so she naturally needs to be very cautious. Done. Yashizaka Rin wiped the sweat off his head, then stood up and pinched his waist, looking satisfied at the summoning array of heroes in front of him. The Holy Grail War is finally about to begin. I have been preparing for ten years, and success or failure depends on this one move. By the way. For safety reasons, should I rehearse first? After a moment of thought, Rin Osaka realized that there was still some time before the official start of the Winterwood Holy Grail War. No matter how he practiced, he couldn't summon any heroes, so he could really give it a try. Thinking of this, Rin Osaka was also a bit impatient. She went straight to the magic circle and then reached out her hand to start singing, Full profit, full profit, full profit, full profit, cycle over and over again, followed by five. When Rin Osaka sings, he raises his right hand, as under normal circumstances, the mantra will appear on the back of his right hand. As a result, she did not notice that at this moment, bright red spells on the back of her left hand had already emitted a bright light. Its name is Ling Mantra. I declare that I am the one who achieves all the good in this world, 
and I am the one who conveys all the evil in this world. Entwine the seven days of the three great spirits, come from the wheel of inhibition, the guardian of the Libra. A powerful announcement came to an end, but nothing happened. Of course not, after all, the winter wood holy grail war has not yet begun. Yashizaka Rin let go of her hand in disappointment, but just as she let go, a bright light suddenly burst out of the magic circle. Buzz. At this moment, the Rin people of Osaka are all foolish. What's the situation? The Holy Grail system hasn't started working yet. Why does the summoning ceremony have a response? However, what shocked Yuan Banlin was still behind. At this time, in front of her, a figure almost identical to her stood directly in front of her. The simple yet understated Mesopotamian attire accentuates a pair of long, white legs that have undergone training, making it particularly sexy. The black double ponytails paired with exquisite looks make it impossible to take away one's gaze, and when paired with the goddess's holy light, her nobility is fully revealed. Of course, none of these are important. This is the world of manga, and the most abundant are all kinds of beautiful women. Not to mention anything else, there are countless stunning beauties in the high school where Rin Farisaka is located, such as Chika Fujiwara in the second year of high school, Kazuki Shiyu in the fourth palace, Shiyu in the sunset hill, and the beauty of the bridge heart under the snow. Jia Bailey in the first year of high school, buried in the earth, and birds swimming in the six flowers anyway, I've seen a lot of beautiful women like Rin Osaka, but the person in front of me is different. Because she looks exactly like herself. How could? Could. In the future, I become a hero and become a hero because of something. Ah. Don't do it. This is not a good thing. Perseus has no concept of time and space. So, the summoned spirits may come from the past or the future. Therefore, it is not surprising that Rin Osaka has such thoughts. However, the next second the beautiful woman in front of her completely overturned her idea. Goddess Ister has been summoned. Human beings, you must take good care of me, the beautiful Venus goddess, as well as those who are also in charge of love, beauty, and harvest. Ha! What expression are you on? Wait! The next second, Istalin also froze in place, because obviously, she also recognized the other person's face. That. Isn't he the same face as he is now? Istarin said, Are you? Me. Of course not. My name is Farisaka Rin. It's not Ister. Ah, uh, said Yashizaka Rin, shaking her head desperately. Yuan Ban Lin put his hand around his head and shook desperately. Ah. Uh. What's going on? Ister. Ister. That's the name of the beauty god in Mesopotamian mythology. Wait a minute. The beauty god is exactly the same as me. Alas, it seems that those annoying guys can't blame them for calling me a female god. Istarin wow, you woman, why are you so narcissistic like me? Looking at the proud expression of Yuan Saka Rin, Istarin finally couldn't help but shout out, hey, don't think too much. I just found a container because the spiritual base of the gods is too strong to descend directly. Of course I know, of course I know. Just think about it and you'll know. But isn't it because you appreciate my appearance when you come to my body? Hee <laughs> hee, yes, it's because of your body that my manifestation of beauty has been lowered from level. EX to B. Ha. That's really unfair to you. Why don't you just come out of my body and return to your divine realm? You. In an instant, Yuan Ban Lin and Ista Lin looked at each other angrily, and the murderous look in their identical eyes seemed to turn into substantive lightning. The Holy Grail War of Lin Xian, the First Servant, Archer. Ista Lin appears. P.S. One of the female protagonists in Fate Slash Day. Night by Rin Osaka in the Warcraft Frontline series by Rin Isterin. Chapter 3 Buried Fulian, Misty Rain Magic Lisa You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 
Buried Fulian, Misty Rain Magic Lisa. Congratulations, Master. The first pair of participants have completed the contract and received rewards, Rin Osaka joins the Holy Grail War, and the owner receives a reward. Gem Magic, with a bag of the same gemstone collected by the Osaka family, Isterin joins the Holy Grail War, and the owner receives a reward. Against Magic A. Invalid Magic Attacks on Magic A and Below, Has It Started Yet? Lin Xian's eyes lit up as he lay in bed. Far Sakaki Rin summoned Isterin. Reasonable. Summoning oneself is certainly very reasonable. By the way, what job title did Isterin come with? Archer job description, Archer, meaning the rank of Archer who uses long dot range attacks as a means, ADC. Due to its connection with the heavens and the world, in addition to archers who usually use bows and arrows, characters who use firearms, throwing weapons, and thermal weapons as attack methods can also serve as archer job description, is it so interesting? Is that all that's included in an archer? So, things like Ayanami and Akira can also be considered writers. The master is very intelligent the system is generous with praise. However, Lin Xian didn't feel much praise for the system. At this moment, his attention was completely attracted by the ability he had just acquired. Gem magic is a great reward for magic A. It's a pity that I don't have much magic yet, even if I have gem magic, I can't release it. Lin Xian sighed for a moment, but he wasn't in a hurry. After all, this is only the first group, and there are twelve people waiting for me. Even if I have bad luck, I won't be unable to draw any magic. This is a world of anime, so there are dangers such as elves, demons, giants, ghouls, monsters, vampires, and so on. Although there are organizations such as hero associations, magic associations, and church churches, for ordinary people, danger can still come at any time. In the future, I can also go out at night. Lin Xian was still quite excited, after all, he finally had the most basic self-protection ability. Although Far Saka Rin's gem magic is not considered a high-end magic in the world of anime, its combat effectiveness is not low either. As long as there is a bit of magic, ordinary dangers are enough to face. Thinking of this, Lin Xian also calmed down his excitement for a while before speaking to the system, All right, let me see how the other masters are doing. I didn't just choose one lucky one. At this moment, a petite figure was also riding a broom and descending from the sky above Dongmu City. She was dressed in black and wore a large wizard hat with a big bow tied to it. She slowly landed on the beach, then gently took off her hat and revealed a head of golden curly hair. Ah! I have finally come out of fantasy land. Woo woo! Is this the human world? The blonde girl looked at the sky happily, and then shouted loudly in the direction to the east, Raimu, please keep an eye on it. Me. Misty Rain Marisha. This time, I will definitely find a way to stay old and immortal. Become the magical envoy of monsters. That's right. This person is a human magician from the eastern fantasy land. Misty Rain Magic Lisa. Perhaps it felt like she was disturbing the people by shouting loudly at night. After shouting, Marissa felt embarrassed and stuck out her small tongue, then put away her magic broom and took a walk alone by the seaside. The cool sea breeze makes people feel refreshed and refreshed, and also helps Marissa better sort out her chaotic thoughts due to leaving fantasy land. The Holy Grail War, Master, Servant, fought against each other and ultimately achieved victory, followed by a universal wishing machine that won't age or die. It's really amazing. Even the old lady from Bayonzi couldn't do such a magical thing. Morisa is a magician, and he is an extremely excellent magician. His level of magic cannot be ignored even by powerful monsters and vampires. But even so powerful, she has her own wish. Not to grow old or die. She is not afraid of death, she just likes to be lively, she just wants to live happily with her good friends forever and ever. Unfortunately, he is human. 
Even the most powerful person can never escape the erosion of lifespan, so she has always been interested in immortality and hopes to become a monster and surpass humanity. Although Ling Meng said that such a thing cannot be true, everyone has come, why should we give it a try? Marissa looked at the back of her hand, where the red curse was emitting a red light. At this moment, the summoning begins. Buzz. In an instant, a bright red magic circle appeared directly on the sea surface in front of the magic sand. With Marisha's magical skills, one can clearly feel a huge wave of magic elements converging towards the center of the magic formation. Is this? It's coming out now. Although Marissa was confident in her own abilities and believed that she could obtain the Holy Grail alone without the help of a servant, she still wanted to see the fun of summoning a servant. Boom! At this moment, a petite figure appeared out of thin air in the magic circle. She was dressed in white clothes, and her fair skin was particularly beautiful under the moonlight. Her equally white long hair was sparse into two ponytails hanging over her shoulders. At this moment, she finally opened her beautiful sapphire blue eyes and looked at Marissa in front of her, asking lightly, Hello, my name is Florian. Can you tell me where this is? Chapter 4 I smell the breath of life expectancy theory. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 I smell the breath of life expectancy theory Florian. Listening to the other person's self-introduction, Misty Rain Morisa excitedly looked at them. Then, the magic circle disappeared, and Florian, who didn't react, fell directly into the sea, woo. Gollum. Ten minutes later, in a small hotel room, Marissa helplessly wiped Florian's wet hair with a towel. But Florian didn't react much, she stared curiously at the TV in front of her beautiful big eyes. Then he reached out his hand and placed it on the monitor, and the emerald green light in his hand began to flicker, don't tell me, you're using magic to decipher the composition of this TV. Marissa looked helplessly at Florian in front of her. She was a powerful magician, and she could naturally see what Florian was doing. Ah! As she listened to Marissa's words, Fulian quickly withdrew her hand and looked at her awkwardly, whispering, Is that okay? It's possible, but some magicians can use magic to analyze the structure of objects. However, it basically involves repairing and repairing electrical appliances, at most strengthening newspapers and mops into steel. It's impossible to figure out what's going on with magic, that's just a matter of science. Science. Fulian still had some confusion. Marissa. Don't look at me like that, I'm also from the magical side. Okay, Fulian could only reluctantly put away her curiosity. When they were summoned to this world, they instilled some common sense, but it was just common sense. Regarding the question of why there are people on TV, Lin Xian cannot start with a diode. Morisa dried Florian's flowing white long hair before turning her gaze to her visible ear. Are you an elf? Mmm. Fu Yin nodded. That's great. Morisa looked at her with envy, and Freelian clearly noticed the envy in Marissa's eyes. She also looked at her curiously and asked. Why is it so good? Because you must have had a long time like this, experiencing many interesting stories. By the way, according to the rules of the Holy Grail, each servant is a legendary existence left behind by their respective worlds. So what about your story? It must be very exciting too. Actually. It's okay too, isn't it? As Florian said this, she seemed to have seen the ten years of adventure with everyone, although brief, so impressive. I spent decades learning magic from my teacher, and then spent hundreds of years traveling around our world. By the way, on the way, I even formed a team of brave warriors with a few friends to defeat the Demon King. However, I only collected magic for fifty years, and when I returned. Speaking of which, Fulian suddenly couldn't continue. She seemed to see the scene of Simmel being buried again. That was the first time she felt like living for so long, maybe it wasn't something happy either. And seeing Fulian's expression suddenly dim, 
Marissa suddenly felt something. The Sodot called warriors are usually humans, and the Sodot called elves can usually live for a long time. Humans, elves, fifty years, oh my, I seem to smell the breath of lifespan theory. Can you tell me? Marissa suddenly looked at Florian in front of her with bright eyes, but Florian suddenly stopped speaking. Although they are partners now, it is still the first day we met, and it is obvious that Flelian does not want to share this beautiful and sad memory. There's nothing to say, everything has already passed. She silently picked up her wand and went to the TV to study the manual again. The Holy Grail summons the most basic literacy skills, so no matter which world people come from, there will be no language barriers. Looking at the girl over there who seemed to be completely indifferent, Morisa could only sigh leisurely, sigh. It seems like I've been underestimated. By the way, can I ask you one last question? Hmm. Florian lifted her head and looked at Marissa in front of her. It took her a long time before she nodded lightly. Marissa. How long have you known them? Only ten years. Did it last for ten years? The two of them only said one sentence, and then the room fell silent again, leaving only the voice of Florian continuing to flip through the instructions. Lin Xian's family, congratulations, Master. The caster team has completed the contract. Master. Mist Rain Marissa, congratulations to the Master for receiving the reward. Mist Rain Marissa's magic. Caster. Florian, congratulations to the owner for receiving the reward, Florian's lifespan. Look, if you lack magic, isn't this magic coming? Lin Xian looked happily at the reward he had just received. The magic of Mist Rain Magic Sands is not a small amount. Being able to make a name for herself in places like Fantasy Land where gods and demons roam everywhere and big demons are not as good as dogs, her level of magic is naturally very terrifying. At least using gem magic is definitely not a problem. As for the remaining rewards, the lifespan of Florian. In other words, how long can Florian live? How long can elves live? Lin Xian remembered that when Florian first appeared, she seemed to be over a thousand years old, and at that time, Florian was still a girl among the elves. Anyway, no one has ever seen a dead elf. With such a long lifespan, at least the sadness of lifespan theory won't fall on me, will it? P.S. Florian, the female lead of the anime, buried Florian, Mist Rain Magic Lisa, a popular character in the series, Fantasy Land of the East. Chapter 5 Hope Peak Academy, Bullet Theory Breakthrough You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Hope Peak Academy, Bullet Theory Breakthrough Good morning, Lin Xian. Lin Xian, you look good today. Is there anything good? In the class, classmates greeted Lin Xian one by one, and Lin Xian responded with a smile. Normally, people may not be so enthusiastic, mainly because today's Lin Xian does give people a feeling of radiance. This is not surprising, after all, Lin Xian now has almost endless lifespan and huge magic, and of course, his spirit and spirit are very good. And what is completely different from Lin Xian is Yuan Saka Rin, who is wearing black circles under his eyes on one side. After all, it's normal for me to be a bit tired after a busy night preparing for this sudden Holy Grail War. At this moment, Far Sakaki Rin lay quietly on the table, while Istrin's voice rang in her ear, Lin, it seems that your classmate is not easy. The servant can be spiritualized and disappear from the eyes of ordinary people like invisibility, but it is only limited to ordinary people. And upon hearing Istarin's words, Yuan Saka Rin also suddenly became mentally alert, not simple. Lin Xian. Yuan Saka Lin feels inexplicable. She has known Lin Xian for so long, and doesn't feel anything unusual. Istarin. He has a powerful magical wave on his body, he is definitely an incredibly powerful magician. Listening to Istarin's voice, Yuan Saka Ian also looked curiously at Lin Xian, 
an ordinary student who was taking out a book from his backpack next to him, and then laughed, I can't believe he's hiding so deep. Silently glancing at Lin Xian, Yuan Saka Rin continued to lie on the table, preparing to catch up. Isterin suddenly became anxious and said, Hey hey! A powerful magician! What's your reaction? Yes, yes, I know. Isn't it just a magician? Take a good look at this school. Do you feel like there is a shortage of magicians here, said Rin Yuan without looking up what? Istalin finally realized. In an instant, she looked at a young man with pink hair not far away, with two lollipops on his head. If she remembered correctly, he definitely gave himself a glance when he came in. But at that time, she didn't even care. There was also the hedgehog head with a sickly expression on his face when he first entered the school gate, Hu Che, the classmate who greeted Yuan Saka Rin when he first entered the school gate, and the one named Kurosaki Ichigo who seemed to have been staring at her all along since he entered, his eyes as if he had seen a ghost. Thinking of this, Isterin suddenly looked at Farisaka Rin helplessly and said leisurely, So. What's the use of my English spiritualization? But suddenly, Rin Osaka's eyes lit up. So. Why don't you change into my clothes and teach for me, so I can go home and catch up on my sleep? Yeah. I am the same as Istalin. Who can tell when I change my clothes? Upon hearing Yuan Saka Rin's words, Istalin was also quite excited. Going to school. It sounds quite interesting too. So the two women hit it off and immediately walked towards the direction of the bathroom. Probably to change clothes this made Lin Xian, who witnessed the entire process, have a black line. Is summoning a spirit with you for this purpose? What a waste. Lin Xian continued to tidy up his desk, but at this moment, he heard the excited voice of his neighboring classmate discussing gossip, did you hear about it? Yesterday, there was an accident at the private Hope Peak School next door. Many students suddenly went missing, and many students suddenly committed suicide. I heard, it's probably done by a weirdo. The Heroes Guild has already intervened. Private Hope Peak School The school that recruits students from all over the world and claims to have gathered top-notch high school students from all fields. Yes, each one has a particularly impressive title, such as super high school baseball player, comma, super high school writer, comma, super high school fighter, etc. It sounds very impressive. How could such a powerful school suddenly have an accident? I don't know, this has nothing to do with us. Listening to these people's discussions, Lin Xian suddenly had a thought in his heart. Private Hope Peak School. Isn't that the college where the bullet theory was broken? Thinking of this, Lin Xian also showed a smile, it seems that the third group is about to appear. At this moment, in a completely enclosed space, a young man wearing a dark green casual shirt, with short brown hair and a dull hair standing on top of his head, is looking at the closed alloy door and sighing helplessly. Miami Cheng, an ordinary first-year high school student with mediocre physical education, academic performance, and special abilities, unexpectedly entered the private Hope Peak School, known as an elite school, and was even named as a super college-level lucky. He thought he was really lucky at first, but when he looked around, what kind of luck is at the super college level? It's clearly unfortunate at the super college level, right? Miao Muching looked helplessly at his companion beside him. With him, a total of 15 classmates were trapped here, and what trapped them was the black and white doll standing on the high platform, whose name was Black and White Bear. Chapter 6 Black and White Bears You must have made a mistake. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Black and White Bears You must have made a mistake. It's really strange here. Yi Yin Khan, known as a super university level diviner, kept looking at everything nearby. He clearly understood that in such a place, his proud divination was completely useless. Around him, Yamada Ichiro, known as a super high school writer, also had a worried expression on his face, there are fifteen people now, I really don't know how I'm going to get out. 
Really, I was planning to attend the new book signing event for author Xia Shitsi of The Metronome of Love, but unfortunately, it seems like I won't be able to do it in time. All right, we're still thinking about the signing event here. We've all been kidnapped now. On the other hand, a hot and curvaceous girl with a pair of ponytails looked disdainfully at Yamada Ichiro. She is a super high school level graphic model, and what she hates the most is this kind of man. Jiang Jidao Dunzi is right. Our main task now is to discuss how to escape. The speaker was a handsome and elegant young man, a super high school level nobleman, with ten gods and white knights. He is the inheritor of the Neon Ten Gods family, with excellent natural psychological qualities. After all, their Ten Gods family, along with Suzuki, Shigong, Saihu and other families, is listed as one of the top ten wealthy families in Neon. Unfortunately, even such a person is still locked up here and cannot leave now. And Miao Mi Cheng also kept looking at the fourteen figures around him. He knew most of the people inside, but they may not know him. After all, I am so ordinary and unremarkable. And at this moment, suddenly, the black and white bear on the podium jumped up, has everyone finally arrived? The doll actually spoke. Super high school level programmer Fujisaki Chihiro, this weak girl, was clearly startled. But it was the super high school literary girl, by her side, Tomoko Fukua, who held her hand and comforted her softly, saying, Don't. Don't be afraid, it's just a talking doll, much better than those ghouls, vampires, murderers, and the like. Oh, I'm so sorry to scare you all, the black and white bear laughed happily. It's really fortunate to gather you talented young people together. To celebrate this, I've decided to let you stay here for your whole life. What? As soon as the words of the black and white bear came out, everyone present instantly changed their faces. This. Isn't it illegal imprisonment? When it comes to doors and windows that are blocked by thick steel plates, everyone's performance becomes even more nervous. Ha <laughs> ha. That's right. So even if you shout your throat out, no one will come to save you. The black and white bear said proudly, adding a touch of terror to his black and white face. The more proud the black and white bear is, the more nervous the people present become. If no one is kidnapped, they can still remain calm unless their power can ignore the kidnapper. Looking around these panicked young boys and girls, the black and white bear finally prepared to explain its game rules, don't worry, I'm not that kind of ruthless person. I still gave everyone a glimmer of hope. In order to make it easier for everyone to go out, I have prepared some rules for everyone. And at the moment when the sound of the black and white bear fell, between them and everyone, rows of bright red fonts suddenly appeared in front of everyone, Holy Grail War Rules. First. The Holy Grail War consists of seven groups of participants, each consisting of a master and a servant. Secondly. In the end, only one master and one servant can obtain the Holy Grail. Thirdly. The Holy Grail can only fulfill one wish per person. Fourth. The death of the participating servant will be sent back to their original world, while the death of the participating master will truly result in death. Fifth. Each master has three stroke spells, and each spell can force a servant command once. If all three mantras are used, it will be considered as a termination of the contract with the servant. Sixth. If the master dies and the servant survives, the servant can sign contracts with other masters. If the servant dies and the master survives, contracts can also be signed with other servants. If the servant dies and the master chooses to give up continuing the Holy Grail War, they can seek the protection of the supervisory staff at the supervisory office. If the servant does not die but the master chooses to voluntarily give up, it is also considered elimination. Eighth. The Holy Grail War is conducted in secrecy, please manage your servant well. If it is noticed and cleared by unrelated personnel, it will be considered a failure. Now, may I ask if you want to continue participating in the Holy Grail War? Yes slash no, hmm. Looking at the lines of font in front of them, all fifteen people turned their attention to the black and white bear on one side. 
The Holy Grail War. What is that thing? Is this the rule it created? At this moment, the black and white bear also had a bewildered expression. Damn it, where did all these fonts come from? This is not my game rule at all. However, before the black and white bear could explain, Miao Mi Cheng had silently chosen yes. He thought it was very simple, he had been kidnapped by someone. Is there still a choice not to do so? However, at the very moment when Miao Mi Cheng chose yes. Suddenly, the lines of font in front of him turned into a bright red spell and fell directly on Miao Mi Cheng's left hand. Immediately after, a bright red magic circle appeared in front of everyone. Contract established. Servant descended. Chapter 7 Lucky Sun and Unfortunate Night You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Lucky Sun and Unfortunate Night In the bright red magic circle, a figure gradually emerged. The dark green armor, handsome face, and especially the tear mole on the face make people fall deeply into it at a glance, especially the few girls present who are already trapped at a glance. However, perhaps knowing the impact of his tear mole, the man silently turned his head, so that these women regained consciousness from their confused state. The man glanced around and then focused his gaze on the back of Mizuki Chang's hand. He then knelt down on one knee in front of him and said, First night of the Fiona Knights, Deludo. Adina pays his respects to the Lord. From now on, I will become a servant to serve you and help you win the Holy Grail. Deludo's respectful voice drew everyone present back from their shocked state. In an instant, the whole room became lively. D. Lu Mu Duo Audi Na. Who is he? asked Yamada Tatsuki, a super high school level thug, with a question mark on his head. On one side, the super high school literary girl Tomoko Kurokawa gave him a white glance before continuing to look at Deludo with an infatuated gaze and saying, It's really scary to have no culture, Deludo. Odina, a hero in Celtic mythology and the chief knight of the Fiona Knights. Glorious appearance. Oh my goodness, this is the first time I've seen such a handsome man, I really want to. The other girls on one side looked at her curiously. They were also addicted to it just now, but quickly realized it. But now, why is this rotting river winter sun still looking like this? Is she a flower lover? But soon everyone's attention was drawn to Miami Cheng and Deludo in front of them, and in an instant, everyone's eyes were all focused on the black and white bear the super high school soldier's blade skeleton first stood up and said, Holy Grail War. It's great, it's perfect for me, I'm willing to participate. She was already walking through the sea of blood and knives, and of course she didn't care about the so dot called danger. On the contrary, she was very excited. Unfortunately, she is not the only one who dares to take risks. Yamada Tattoo also refused to let others down. And me, although my history is not very good, this kind of exciting thing is obviously very suitable for me. Do you have money? Do you have power? Ten gods by Yi pushed his glasses and walked out slowly. I can only support a servant like this. Leave the servant to me, and I will lead him to victory. The Ten Gods family is wealthy, but in this world, having money doesn't mean having strength. Which family doesn't want powerful heroes, wizards, superpowers, and so on? And ancient heroes and so on, it sounds very powerful. Sarisha Roddenbeck, a beautiful girl dressed in gothic attire, also eagerly stepped forward and said, as a super high school gambler, I think servant is the most suitable talent for me. Isn't this holy grail war a game of gambling everything? Almost everyone present was eagerly watching the black and white bears, thinking that the holy grail war was caused by them. Didn't you just say that only seven people are eligible to participate, so of course they will compete. There is a strong servant following, and the winner can also fulfill their wishes. Of course they have to participate in such a good thing. This makes the black and white bear completely dumbfounded. Wait. Wait. Have you misunderstood something? What's this, Deludo? The Holy Grail War has nothing to do with my rules. 
Black and white bear shouted bouncing and jumping, my rule is that there is no limit to killing methods. As long as you successfully kill a student present without being detected, you can leave here. This is my game rule. Cut. Everyone looked disdainfully and didn't turn their heads. What kind of garbage killing game? Compared to the Holy Grail War, it's much worse. That's right, I really don't want to participate in such a ridiculous rule. Compared to the Holy Grail War, isn't this just a twisted set of twisted rules? Did you hear me? Let's go back now. Looking at the angry state of everyone present, the black and white bear in front of him finally couldn't help but jump up. Although it's just an artificial intelligence, it also takes face. Don't ask why black and white bears have become artificial intelligence. In the world of anime, with technology at the forefront, scientific progress is definitely much stronger than modern Earth. You're going too far. All right. Let's start our game now. Whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. And that Miami Mi Cheng, immediately use your curse to make your servant commit suicide. Don't delay our game progress, otherwise. Black and white bear said, his eyes shining red. However, before it could finish threatening, a pair of powerful hands grabbed it in mid-air, and it was Deludo. Although I don't know what exactly happened here, it seems that you are in danger, Lord. Hey hey. You can't use violence against the principal here. The black and white bear kept shouting, and at the same time, the red light in its eyes began to flicker, drip. Drop. Drop. The sound of an alarm also sounded from its body. Not good. It's dangerous. Hurry up and throw it out. Wu Chia shouted loudly. However, Deludo remained motionless as if he hadn't heard it, and just held on to the body of the black and white bear tightly. Boom. Suddenly, the black and white bear in Deludo's hand exploded. The violent explosion produced rolling black smoke that directly enveloped Deludo's body. At this moment, everyone's faces changed. This black and white bear. Come on, really. D Lu Mu Duo. Miao Mu Cheng nervously shouted. Others watched this scene with great despair, even the legendary hero couldn't withstand the bombing. However, just as the black smoke dissipated, a slender figure still stood in place. There are no scars on my whole body. Is it a hot weapon? Compared to the shameless person I know, this level of explosion is still too low. Deludo. Safe and sound. P.S. New book upload, flower reviews, please support me a lot, at least let me know if everyone likes to read this type of book. Chapter 8. Breakthrough of Quick Pass Pellets. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Lancer Deludo Adina Watt. Being bombed by such a bomb, there was nothing wrong with it. How could it be? Are you human? Everyone stared blankly at Deludo in front of him, completely unscathed. This is also normal. Even the weakest hero has dozens of times the physical fitness of an ordinary person, and there is no problem grabbing bullets empty-handed. Are you here to cause trouble? Bang! On the podium, another black and white bear jumped out. Obviously, the black and white bear thing is wholesale, it is just an artificial intelligence robot, a puppet pushed out by the mastermind behind the scenes. But no one noticed that among the fifteen people at this moment, the shield shrank slightly back and the black and white bear is now jumping out and jumping again, just now was just a warning, so what if you can fight? This place is already blocked by steel and cement. If you want to go out, you must follow my rules. Otherwise, none of you can go out and can only wait here to die. Waiting to die. For a moment, everyone also felt the danger. If we really follow what Black and White Bear said, only by killing people can we go out, then how could these people be opponents of this Deludo? If that Miao Mu Cheng asks this Dilu Mu to kill them more, how will they resist? Among this group of people, even the most powerful super high school level fighter, Daishin Sakura, is only equivalent to a C. level hero outside. 
she can fight against ordinary thieves and the like, and can hack iron gates with her bare hands. You can only let S. Level heroes come. As he listened to the words of the black and white bear, Deludo looked at the completely closed iron door next to him. He knocked on the door with his hand and made a thumping sound, which sounded incredibly sturdy. However, Deludo didn't care at all. Two long guns, one red and one yellow, appeared directly in his hand. The red gun was slightly longer and the yellow gun was slightly shorter. What are you doing? The black and white bear has already noticed that something is wrong. It wants to stop, but unfortunately it's already too late. Brush. Brush. Wave two guns. The next second, the incredibly sturdy iron door in front of him instantly turned into four pieces. With a kick from Deludo's foot, the iron door collapsed with a loud bang. For a moment, everyone was once again stunned. This strength. At least you're also an A.Level hero. This level of existence, even the wealthiest ten gods by ye here cannot be hired. At this moment, Deludo, standing at the door with a gun in hand, turned around and smiled at the group of people in front of him, saying, What are you waiting for? Aren't you going out yet? Run quickly. Yamada Ichiro reacted and shouted loudly. Then, the slightly chubby young man weighing over 200 pounds ran out with just one swipe, and the speed stunned even the super high school level thugs. Sure enough, fat people are all potential stocks. Wow! Everyone followed Yamada's footsteps and rushed out with all their heads. There's only one black and white bear left, constantly shouting, Come back! Come back quickly! Before it could finish speaking, it was pierced by a yellow rose thrown casually by Deludo, and then exploded again. This thing is so annoying, even if it's not a living person, I want to poke it a few more times. Bullet theory breaks. Ten minutes, fast pass. Who? 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 Who a group of people ran straight out for two kilometers until they reached the park in the center of Dome Mu City, where they finally breathed a sigh of relief. People come and go here, it's absolutely impossible for anyone to dare to cause trouble here. The original bullet theory was broken, and the outside world was already chaotic like the end of the world. However, this is a comprehensive world. Not to mention the bullet theory, even if it is a biochemical crisis, it is estimated that it cannot withstand a group of abnormal outputs, so naturally we can live in peace. At this moment, a group of people looked at each other for a long time, and everyone couldn't help but laugh happily. Unexpectedly, due to the super high school level luck of Miao Macheng, these young people who should have been hostile and fighting against each other have become very good friends because of their shared life and death experiences. I have already called the police, that guy must not be able to escape. Reporting to the police doesn't work, I have already informed the Heroes Association. They will take action so that there won't be any accidents, said Lienen Sang Tian, I have already informed my family, and my father is very angry. Don't worry, that place will definitely be razed to the ground. Yamada 123 said, that's really great, but unfortunately, our school seems to be gone. But it's not a big deal. Why don't we transfer to the next door? Everyone mobilized their own strength to prepare for revenge, but at this moment, Sakuya Suchihiro seemed to have discovered something and said, Hmm. Where have the students of Kanako Kashima, Higashikawa Higashiko, and Mizuki Shinzo gone? Asahi Naikue said, Maybe he ran away, but during the Holy Grail War, servant and master, I envy my classmate Mizuki Ching so much. Do you envy me? At this moment, the envied student Miaomi Cheng had already been carried by Deludo with one hand into a forest. Deludo put down Miaomi Cheng, and then he breathed a sigh of relief as he looked at Miaomi Cheng in front of him and said, Lord, we are safe now. He actually doesn't want to run, and he is also very confident in his own strength. But as a knight, he cannot put his lord in danger, as he learned from a holy grail war. Looking at Deludo in front of him, Miao Muching also breathed a sigh of relief. Thank you, Deludo. Let's call me Lancer first. 
In the Holy Grail War, it's necessary to hide one's real name. Deludo is obviously very experienced. He participated in the Holy Grail War in the original Winterwood City and has a memory, which is also one of the characteristics of the Lin Xian Holy Grail War. Okay, Lancer. What should we do next? How to do it? Delujuo looked at Miami Cheng in front of him. The situation was a bit tense just now, and he didn't have time to ask Miao Macheng. Now he finally had the opportunity to speak up, so he asked, Master, do you have any wishes? Chapter 9 Berserker's Lazy Teacher Romani You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Berserker's Lazy Teacher Wish Miami thought for a moment and then shook his head. He just thought about how to escape from there, but now he doesn't. After all, he has always believed that he is ordinary and has no lofty aspirations. I originally had it, but now I don't have it anymore. Deludo good guy, my master doesn't have any wishes, what should I do? Waiting online, it's quite urgent. Looking at Deludo's conflicted expression, Miami Cheng also felt a bit embarrassed and asked, So Lancer, what are your wishes? My wish. Deludo's face showed a nostalgic expression and he said, My wish is to serve the Lord like a true knight. Miami Cheng recalled the story of Deludo, and he also thought of the tragic story in the legend of Deludo. Deludo and the fiancé A.E. of the Lord fell in love, and then the two eloped. His Lord Funen was greatly enraged, but due to the powerful strength of Deludo, he was ultimately unable to retrieve him. Later, Finn wanted to punish the demonic wild boar, but due to insufficient manpower, he sought help from Deludo. Deludo, feeling guilty, did not refuse. After the two of them worked together to defeat the demonic wild boar, he was also seriously injured. And Finn, who had the ability to save him, chose to stand idly by due to inner resentment, so Deludo died as a result. Deludo didn't hate Finn, but he hated himself. So, he wanted to complete the once unfinished knightly path and serve a true lord. Unfortunately, although Miami Cheng has a good character, he has clearly not changed his ordinary thinking. So he said, well, let's talk about the grail snatching later. Let's go back and rest first. I want to go home and see my sister. Deludo looked at Miami Cheng in front of him and found that he had no fighting spirit. He feels very sad, why does he always encounter these strange masters? But he still respectfully said, I, Lord. Two figures disappeared into the forest like this, and it was rare for participants in the Holy Grail War to have little fighting spirit. Lancer team, contract completed. Meanwhile, outside the forest, a figure was running desperately, her face full of obsession, and her mouth kept murmuring, Deludo. Hee <laughs> hee. Deludo. This figure is exactly the super high school literary girl who escaped together just now, Yukawa Dongzi. However, this title is just a cover up for her on the surface, beneath her quiet appearance lies a completely different face. Super high school level killer. The exterminators soar. Carrying scissors with her, she loves beautiful men and only kills men. She likes to nail the deceased in a cross shape on the wall, and then write four words of blood celebration with the blood of the deceased on sight. Every time she kills someone, she writes a stroke on her own leg. Now, there are two rows of positive characters on her legs. Deludo. Hee <laughs> hee. Deludo. The exterminator Xiang kept muttering the name of Deludo. Just now, she took a glance at Deludo and knew that this man was worth fighting on his own. Unfortunately, despite her speed, where could she surpass Deludo, who was a heroic spirit? When she arrived, Deludo had already left with Miami Cheng. How could? How could? The exterminator Xiang knelt on the ground, her tongue extended extremely long, but it did not affect her speech. Now her mind was completely occupied by the figure of Deludo. The tear mole of love, which can make a woman who sees it deeply fall in love with this man, is a completely unreasonable ability. A person with firm willpower can still resist, 
but obviously, Xiang, the exterminator, is a flower-crazy and sickly woman with little willpower, or in other words, she has no intention of resisting at all. How could? Why didn't you wait for me? The exterminator Xiang shouted loudly, and at that moment, a bright red curse appeared on the back of her hand. This is. The exterminator Xiang immediately recognized this curse. Isn't this the curse that the Holy Grail was regularized into just now? Although the pattern is different from Mizuki's, it is definitely the same thing. So that means. Am I going to have a servant too? Brush. In response to the expectations of the exterminator Xiang, a bright red magic circle immediately appeared in front of him. In the bright red light, a figure gradually emerged. Appearing. Appearing. Is it a man? Is it a beautiful man like the Ludo? The exterminator Xiang stared intently at the magic circle in front of him, as if he was about to be sucked in. At this moment, she even forgot about the Ludo, after all, her servant must be the most handsome and beautiful man in the world. The red light in front of her had disappeared, and she finally saw the figure in front of her clearly. The figure was clearly a man, with short-cut dark green hair and a funny little hat on his head. He was extremely thin, as if a gust of wind could blow him down. At this moment, the man was silently staring at the exterminator Xiang with his eerie, emotionless gaze, and then emitting a chilling laugh, he he. He 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 he. Holy Grail War. Servant. Universal Wishing Machine. He he. He 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 he. My brain is really trembling. Ah, oh, oh. The man in front of him was shouting like a madman, his body twisted into a strange shape, and he was constantly epileptic there. It looks like a person who just ran out of a mental hospital. Looking at the figure in front of him, Xiang, the destroyer who thought he was abnormal, was dumbfounded. Where is the handsome guy I want? Where have you gone? Where did this guy come from again? My servant. What exactly is it? Is that how the first ten chapters of the mantra are used? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Is that how the first ten chapters of the mantra are used? Berserker, also known as Berserker Warrior, initially referred to a crazy person, but later this scope gradually expanded to include people who have a crazy obsession with certain things and can also serve as berserker positions. For example, if you want to find a One Piece, become a Hokage, conquer the entire world, etc., and have an incredibly strong goal that is willing to give everything, you can also serve as a berserker. And now, the one in front of the immortal Xiang is berserker, the lazy teacher, and Pitikius Romani Kangdi. Romani Conti, from R.E. A life in a different world from scratch, is the lazy and responsible teacher of the great sin in the witch cult. He used to be a gentle and handsome man, but after undergoing a major transformation, he became a crazy and abnormal person. From then on, his world was only left with diligence and love. At this moment, the lazy teacher kept looking at the undead Xiang in front of him. Looking at the other person's lewd gaze, immortal Xiang also felt a bit uneasy. She didn't want to talk to this guy anymore. Who are you? Forget it, whoever you are, get out of the way. I'm going to find my Deludo. The immortal Xiang instantly lost interest in laziness. But she lost interest, not Romani Conti. Hee <laughs> hee, you're really an arrogant person. Ha ha ha, this diligent and swift work is really exciting. Ha. Before undead Xiang could react, she instantly felt a murderous aura emerging. As a super high school level killer, she immediately wanted to jump up and avoid the opponent's attack, but the next second, she found that her hands and feet were completely imprisoned by an invisible force. Ah. With a cry of surprise, the body of the undead hovers in mid-air in the shape of a big character. It seems that as long as she is lazy and applies force, her whole body will be torn apart by this force. He 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 he, really, why are you leaving before I introduce myself? This is really impolite. 
the lazy teacher walked up to the immortal Xiang and saluted him like a gentleman. Let me introduce myself. I am the lazy teacher of the witch cult, Pyticius Romaniconti, yes. I don't want to know who you are. Let go of me. The girl's pleading is really trembling. The diligent posture of steadfastly pursuing one's goals is really beautiful. However, it's a pity that you can only stay by my side now until I obtain that thing called the Holy Grail. He 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 he. You. The undead continued to struggle, but she realized that the power gap between the two was too great. Lazy power, invisible hand. This invisible hand can even crush a giant stone, how could the exterminator Xiang, who is a mortal with a physical body, break free? By the way. I have this. The exterminator Xiang seemed to have thought of something. She immediately looked at the back of her hand, where the bright red curse was emitting a bright light. In the name of a curse. Wait. Wait. What are you doing? The lazy teacher changed his face directly. That's a curse with only three strokes. Should this woman use it that way? Is she even crazier than me? Berserker. Always obey my commands. She really used it. Buzz. A bright red curse instantly disappeared. The next second, the undead felt their hands and feet loosen, and then their entire body fell from mid-air. Ha the undead Xiang breathed a sigh of relief and was saved. If she were killed by such a disgusting man, her lifelong reputation would be ruined. But the next second, the lazy teacher's terrifying face approached her. That face was as black as a ghost. You. Are you a fool? Such a precious magic crystal. How could you just waste it like this? It's really. Laziness, laziness, laziness. You. How dare you talk to me like this? Now, clap your hands. The undead commanded loudly. However, the lazy teacher did not respond. The undead Xiang instantly became nervous. Didn't she just command the other party to obey her absolutely? How could it be? Applause. Dig your eyes. Suicide. Don't waste your effort. Lazily grabbed her wrist and looked at her coldly. The curse can only be commanded three times. That is to say, three times of absolute obedience. You have issued such a command of eternal absolute obedience, which is a loophole in the Holy Grail. How could the Holy Grail agree? Stupid idiot. Ha! The exterminator Xiang immediately looked at the back of his hand, and sure enough, the curse there was already one dot third less. In an instant, the exterminators were eager to cry without tears. So. Didn't I just waste it once in vain? It's not a waste, at least. I can talk to you calmly now, said Lazy. The first time he saw someone so pleasing to his eye, but it was just pleasing. All right. Now, let's have a good conversation. Lazily tried to calm down. In fact, it's quite normal for him not to go crazy, at least he thinks so himself. A person like you should have your own wishes, right? Hee <laughs> hee, how about we cooperate? Kill everyone, snatch the holy grail. Then you find your beautiful man, and I'll go back to my world to dominate. How about that? Okay. The undead Xiang also calmed down. Just now she also saw that although her servant may not have a good brain, her strength is indeed strong. With such a helper, I won't lose out on anything. At this moment, a man and a woman, two crazy people, hit it off like this. He 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 he. Since that's the case. Where else can we continue to be lazy? Next. Let's make a complete mess of it. Berserker group. Lazy teacher. The immortal flies. Contract completed. 